Hi everyone, my name is Ranjit and in this video I am going to show you how you can control the speed as well as the direction of a DC motor directly from your Android phone. These are the components that you are going to need. We will be using App Inventor for making the Android app. We will insert a label that will act as a title of the app. Then we will add label, another label that will show the slider position. After that we are going to add a slider for controlling the speed. Its range is going to be from uh, 0 to 255 because that's the range of uh, the argument of the analog write function of Arduino. We will also insert a horizontal arrangement so that we can have some room between the slider and the buttons. For placing three, the buttons that will control the direction, we will use table arrangement with three columns and one row. Then I'll add all the three buttons and then change the text accordingly. I'm gonna set their width to be 33% so that they are evenly spread and they look good. We will also add a list picker that will contain all the Bluetooth devices that are paired with your phone. We will insert a clock for repeated operation and for the connection with the bluetooth module I am going to add a bluetooth client. That's it for the designer part, now let's see the blocks. Ok so the first thing we are going to do is to add the blocks for setting up the connection with the android bluetooth and the bluetooth module.
Now we will add blocks for controlling the rotation of motor and here is the trick. When we want to control the rotational direction, we will be, we will be transferring just a single byte of data. Whereas when we are transferring the data for controlling the speed, it is going to be a 2 byte value. This will become clear once we see the blocks of speed controlling part. As you can see I am adding a value of 1000 to the position of the slider and it is going to be a 2 byte number. On the Arduino side it will check the number of byte received and that is how it will come to know whether the data received is for speed control or the direction control. With that we have completed the app, build it and install it in your android device. And this is the breadboard connection of all the parts. And this is the code that will be uploaded to the Arduino. Now is the time to test everything. As you can see everything is working very well. If you have found this video helpful give it a like and share it so that others can find it. For any question or any video request you can ask in the comment. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.